friends, hey family, mi gente, bienvenidos, como esta? Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are handling the favorites, yes, and we're going to talk about some fails. It's only a few fails, but I have a lot of favorites, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is hair, of course, although I have a head turban. By the way, y'all, these are leggings, get excited. I have to blow dry my hair, I am going to do a blowout, do a twist out on a blowout and I wanted to use this. So that's my first favorite. So I have a few hair products. The first one I'm gonna talk about, these are products that you haven't heard and this is really a favorite of things that mostly people have not talked about or isn't talking about it or they were but not you know these are like going back to my OGs. These are from Moroccan oil. This is the moisture per repair conditioner and the moisture repair shampoo. This is a strengthening shampoo and a repairing conditioner those two and i love this it's color safe it's sulfate phosphate and paraben free i love this so much and i didn't realize how much i loved it until it, it was running out and so i use it whenever i need to do a heat style because those like strengthen the hair they repair the hair and a really good thing to start off your hair with the next hair care product I actually have this in my hair right now is the briogeo risarco milk reparative leave-in i love this so much it is such a lightweight leave-in if you are wanting to do some heat styling but you want something that's very very light it is also sulfate free silicone free and paraben free so i really love this as well and i have one more from briogeo i cannot believe that i have not done a briogeo review for you guys but that is coming this one has been a savior when i can't deep condition my hair but i need some extra moisture this is the briogeo don't despair repair strengthen and moisture leave-in mask so it's a leave-in it's a hair mask that you leave in your hair and this is so good I got the small one I think in a boxy charm a while back and I'm totally through it so you guys will see it in my March empties but I love it love it love it so much it's been such a great product and I just spray it on my ends is one of those type of things love it so much and I love the fact and that although it has a little bit of glycerin in it and everything if I'm doing a twist out it does not hurt my hair as much that's really weird um, but I don't think glycerin is high on the list it does contain if it does yeah glycerin is like halfway down so this didn't harm my hair as much so the last product this is another empty that this is a gel i would say this is in my top five of gels this is the uncle funky daughter curl stimulator curly magic curl stimulator formula it, it was made by the same person so i'm out of this you'll see that in another empty but i had to talk about it because i do use that when i convert my wash and goes into a twist out or if I'm wearing a wash and go that is like my current go-to gel it's a little bit heavier than the um the smooth naturals one so I really do enjoy that and those are my hair products I had five hair products to talk about this month that is pretty impressive because one a lot of times I stick to the one thing that I absolutely love or like one or two maybe three and I had five let's move on to body I wanted to talk about this before I run out of this this is the Nivea foaming oil it's a moisturizing body wash this is so good it's the herbal spa scent and it it says that it contains 60% oil nourishes skin gently cleanses and it doesn't have a greasy feel I agree with that 100% and y'all look for a video with this included but this is bomb okay I have to talk about this in another video okay so mental note this is so good okay let's talk about a skincare product that I love this is the Clinique pep start this was gifted to me by one of my co-workers and she was like I have all of this Clinique stuff and I don't know what to do with it and this looked very very interesting so what you do is a double bubble per purifying mask so it's a face mask so y'all see it's like pink right well when you start to massage it y'all you're gonna see it starting to turn to a milky white substance and then it starts to foam and it lifts all the impurities out of your skin within two minutes so it's like one of those bubble masks but it is so invigorating it's so such like a quick fix this is something definitely like a flash mask 
you know, so to speak, if you're trying to do a quick, you know, your activated charcoal may take a little bit longer and you want something that's, you know, a foam to a mask. Um, and then you massage it again, you rinse it off, but it turns into a foam and I love it so much. It's so good and it pulls everything out and the next day my skin is super soft and it lifts and washes away all the impurities out of the skin. So especially if you are using some type of like primer or dimethicone things that sink into the pores you definitely want to get something that's going to pull all of the things that you put on your face out of the pores so this is really really good and I really enjoyed it let's get into makeup first thing I'm gonna talk about is what is on my lips right now this is the persona this is their lip gloss line and this is in honey gloss now on Instagram I put toffee and peach this honey is probably my favorite. This reminded me, oh my God, I just had an aha moment, y'all. Naked had, uh, Urban Decay had a naked lip gloss called Nooner that I could not find a dupe for. I was so sad because it went, you know, they no longer have it. It's out of stock. This is Nooner, y'all. This is Nooner. This is the shade Honey. It's what I have on my lips today. That's all I have on. Toffee is to me like a a dupe to the Fenty Boss Glam and the Universal Boss Glam. These are so good. They're not sticky. It's like a high gloss, which is something that I want. If I want a glossy lip, give me a glossy lip. Don't give me like a pigmented lipstick that's in a liquid form. Don't give me that. I want a gloss. I want a gloss gloss when I want one. And I love this because it's not sticky you don't get the little stringies your hair doesn't get caught up in it like syrup you know syrup like you feel like it's maple syrup and it has that pleasant vanilla scent and despite the fact some people say i don't like the scent in my lip products i love it because you're going to be smelling your lips throughout the day it has that nice oh that's nice vanilla scent smells like buttercream cake vanilla scent love it i think you get a better deal with the bundle but check out my Instagram. It is on the Persona, Persona website and Ulta.com. So I really, really like this highly. I love their liquid lipsticks. Sona is like, she's the OG. I feel like she can do no wrong in my book. Everything that I have tried from Persona, I have loved. And so the lip glosses did not fail me. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of high-end products that I am loving. Wander Beauty, this Wondrous Dust to Dawn, I think I may have talked about this before, but I really like this palette. I feel like Havana Nights, City Lights, and Tuscan, Tuscan Sunrise, these are such some, they are so beautiful. In addition, it has a mirror, y'all, so happy. And it's so compact for travel. I'm one of those people now because I have no time to do my makeup at home, so so to speak. I have to, it has to be compact enough where I can throw it in my makeup bag. And my makeup bag is pretty big, but it needs to be not too big. So this is perfect. Really like this in terms of a blush and a highlight duo type of thing. And then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Chic to Chic swish and pop and first love this is one of those shades that's universal where it's like tart exposed um it it's one of those shades that it's gonna go well with everything it's like mac melba okay it is so so good and i really really do enjoy it it lasts it's one of those it's so silky on i get why people say that this is such a good blush it stays on all day i love this formulation this is the smoothness of this is i don't want to say unheard of but i've never had a blush that is this smooth to put on my cheeks i really do enjoy it and i would pick up another one of these which i if i didn't have so many blushes i'm definitely i'm gonna have to do some decluttering but this is one blush that is very memorable in my blush collection i'm just saying talk about a memorable bronzer y'all this butter bronzer by physician's formula physician's formula you did hear us when we said bring us some more shades but girl you could have brought that brought some more shades than this like this is the deepest shade the other one that's deeper than this has some shimmer in it this is the deepest matte and this is in deep bronzer 
that's what it's called deep bronzer um i love this so much first of all thank you for getting me my shade but i know my sisters and brothers that are chocolate need something that represents them this is so beautiful but my chocolate sisters i know want something on the deeper skin tone for the, for them physician's formula kind of while you was making up this batch, you could have gone like a couple of shades down. I'm just saying this is such a good bronzer, but y'all, extend the shades. Let's talk about foundations because y'all, I did a serious foundation declutter. I could get rid of some more. This one is staying though. This is the Dior Star Tint Studio Lumiere Spectacular. This is so good. I'm in shade 40. 040. This is so good. It's what I have on my face today. It's like skin. Y'all, when you get compliments about your skin, that's the foundation that you pick up. I got compliments. They were like, girl, your skin is flawless. And this is like a skin enhancer. I feel like it, you get sheer to like a good medium coverage with this. You're not going to get full coverage. But this is the star. I think Nordstrom still sells this. Or even like Neiman Marcus or Barney's. Um, check those higher end stores, Bloomingdale's, those type of things. But um, it does come with a pump. I really like this. Dior foundations work really well for me i found so i've been jumping i thought i didn't have skincare but then i saw i do this is the lancome this is the bifacial face um micellar biface this is micellar water it removes the makeup it's y'all this is so much better than my garnier okay i love it because it serves as a makeup remover and you can use it as a micellar water and i know i know it's like a makeup remover but this removes like even your waterproof i love this so much and it looks like i haven't been using it y'all but i have been using this and i really like it and it, like your makeup comes off easy your eye makeup because you know sometimes you have to wipe several times this one i can use half of a sashado by uh, like cotton facial pad and this and it's gone so i really do enjoy that and then you'll see a full review on my drunk elephant but i wanted to talk about this retinol cream this is the a passioni retinol cream i love this so much like the first night i used this i could tell the difference but i wanted to talk use this first and then talk about it i really do enjoy this so much and it this is the strongest retinol that i have tried this has replaced my luna oil now the oil when i say replace this is a cream and it's more potent so it's gonna last longer and also i don't know like the sunday riley i just feel like you don't get as much product for the amount of money that you're using although it's an amazing product yes i would spend the money but because i have this and this is still a pricey item but you get an ounce worth of product and when I say you need a little bit I mean like a not even a pea half of a pea size for your entire face okay this is so good a lot of times I will put an oil in this and I will use it and mix it with my night cream just so it's a better carrier of sinking deep deeper further into the skin so I really do enjoy that and then the next day I use the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense this has SPF 30 y'all this is strong too okay I have to add like a little bit of a regular moisturizer with this because I feel like that this feels like a pure SPF you are gonna get flashback with this I'm just saying because you get that white cast but if you mix it with a moisturizer, it's really good. But I feel like you're getting that barrier protection. And so that's why I love this so much. Okay, so let's move on to the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus from March. Let's talk about this beauty cream. This is the Beauty Filter Cream Glow. I like it, but let me tell y'all something. I could do without it. It's thick. And I like for my moisturizers to be thicker at night and to be a little bit more moisturizing but very almost like serum -y or even runny or even like a gel like substance throughout the day during the day now this cream would have been really good in the winter rather than giving it to us during the spring because it is a cream okay this is for extremely dry dry to the sky skin and my skin tends to start to change around spring and summer so i can definitely do without this around this time of year 
but these were the heavy hitters from my ipsy glam bag the bronzer from morphe i did like um it is in my makeup bag and i did like that if you want to check out my unboxing i'll leave a link over here so you guys can check it out but these are the two heavy hitters the pixie by petra lash lift 188 mascara this is like a double mascara where you can use this on the upper lash and then this one you use at the bottom this is so good this is such a great mascara i'm gonna be sad when i run out of this that's a good mascara so it retails i want to say for 18 dollars, but i feel like it would be worth it it's a little bit more than regular but you have both you know a two-in-one the other thing is the Huda, Huda, I say Hootie, the Huda Beauty. This is the Mauve Obsessions Palette. I love this so much. Y'all got, I got so many compliments on this. It is super pigmented. I love how blendable these are. And um, this, this is right in my color range. I feel like she did a really great job with this i also have the smoky obsessions i haven't dug into this but i feel like for this to be as compact as it is with the mirror i really like this but let me tell y'all i'm kind of scared to take this with me because this shatters so easily if you put it in a safe like a place where it doesn't shift a lot i don't think you have that problem but it's just one of those things where the eyeshadows are soft so just be careful of that okay and I have one fail actually I had more fails than that but it's I just decluttered so that's a whole different type of video but I'm going to share with you guys one of the this is gonna be somebody else's treasure because this is a really good palette it's just because I have so many like this I was like I love some of the colors but because I have more colors in other palettes I know I'm a love this is the Too Faced all nat the natural natural love palette I like this palette so much but it's like a I don't want to say a one-hit wonder I feel like it has the same types it didn't give me too much of variety like if you are into like soft makeup I'm gonna be honest with you this someone that is from for fair I feel like this palette is more so designed for a skin tone rather than a I don't know I just felt like that I don't know because these would work for women of color down down here I feel like but these would definitely wash out or look ashy on a woman of color and so there's so many colors in here that I do like but it's probably because I have so many the same color range in other products and other palettes so that's why I would say that this was a miss or a fail and I'm gonna pass this along I tried it it didn't work for me and so that's the reason why those are my favorites you guys thanks so much for watching comment and let me know what worked for you in March what didn't and what are you decluttering give me like three items one that you loved one that you didn't and one you plan on decluttering i mean i think that's an awesome thing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you are switching out from the winter to the spring what are you swapping out you guys comment down below and i will see you in the next video bye lovey